Okay, I probably just suck at video games. <laughs> and I'm doing this live on the internet where it's gonna stay, you know, my kids are gonna watch this when they grow up. <laughs> Meta recently released Llama 3.1 and in this video I'm just gonna show you how to run it using Olama and Olama allows you to run open source models locally on your own system. And if you don't know, or if you don't have Olama already, just come here to olama.com slash download and you can download for Mac, Linux, or Windows, depending on what system you're using. And after you've downloaded it and make sure that it's set up correctly, just come to models and you'll see Llama 3.1 here as the model. I'm choosing to use 8 billion model parameter, which is 4.7 gigabytes there because I don't have a lot of memory. And once you click on it, you will see here a kind of pre-made prompt for you that you will use to download that model on your system. So once you copy that, go ahead to your terminal and uh, just paste that command there and you will see it running. So let's just delete some portion of this that is not required. So it's Olama run at 3.1, 8 billion parameters. So for me, I've already run this, which will pull the model, but if you haven't, you'll see it pulling the manifest and doing all the extra stuff to make sure the system is set to your system. So for me, as you can see, I've already set for you. Once it does pull, it will show you this message, you know, send message. And maybe we can ask it a very simple question. Uh, let's just say it was, uh, you know, let's see what, okay, that's a unique reading. How can I assist you today? Uh, let's just say, what's up again? <laughs> You're sticking with the same team, huh? What's up? It's like a British slang phrase that means what's up. Indeed, what's your day going so far? Okay, cool. Uh, now let's ask it to generate maybe a game, right? Because that's always a good thing. So, you know, generate a robust Pong game. Because I see everybody doing snake games. I mean, let, let me do uh, generate a robust Pong game in Python. And actually, I'm going to give it a shot and run this live for you. So once you generate it, I want to give it a try and see how it if it's going to play or if it's going to work in the first run, right? And so I think the, you can see it from what it's doing. It's just importing Pygame and then we have the system, of course, there and then it's setting the variables there. Okay, so it seems like it's doing pretty good. One thing also while this is going, uh, just a note. For me, it seems like it's doing this really fast. What you can see on the screen right now, it's real time. I'm not speeding up anything. It's just it's actual speed. So it seems like it's doing very well and it, it, it outputs very fast. So I've been using Mistral uh, a lot because I feel like it's been uh, it's been really fast on my system. But I think I'm going to replace it with this because this one seems much faster and more accurate, actually. So I don't know what your experience has been with using uh, this model on your local system. But yeah, feel free to let me know. So it's finished. It's just giving here the features of the game. I don't need all that right now. So I just want to see if it works. So let's just copy this code right here. I'm just going to move it all the way up to the beginning. I'm not going to go through what the code actually does, but I'm just going to check to see if this code works. So spin up our, we have our uh, IDE set up here. I've already imported, uh, I've created a virtual environment and I've imported Pygame. So pip install Pygame in that case. So let's go up here and make sure that there's no errors. So this is just the code itself. I haven't modified anything. I just copied and pasted in here. It doesn't seem to be throwing any errors. At least it's not showing any errors in the screen right there. So that's good. But, you know, game time now. Let's see if it's going to play the game. So run the file. Give it a moment. Oh, look at that. Uh-oh. It actually plays. So it has two paddles, as you can see. All right. All right. Oh, please. Oh, I didn't. Come on. I can't, I can't play with the other side. You can tell I haven't been playing enough video games in my life to be able to control this. Ah, I see. I see. Now I see. I can control using the WSD, I believe. Oh, I'm too slow. But we're just going to give this more try and see. All right. Oh, well, the other paddle disappeared. Okay, I probably just suck at video games <laughs> and I'm doing this live on the internet where it's going to stay, you know, my kids are going to watch this when they grow up. <laughs> but, uh, okay, so as you can see, it did pretty well and I'm probably just going to keep playing this after this. Um, but give it a shot. Let me know what you think uh, about this model uh, and uh, just wanted to show you how to do that real quick. So see you in the next video. Goodbye.